Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. Today I will be showing you how to add custom KPI icons into Power BI, whether static or animated. So let's dive right in. If you worked with Power BI for some time, you are probably familiar with conditional formatting and specifically icons. Those really outdated ones that you can see here. The default ones that Power BI provides you with. Did you ever wish to change it to something more modern or something that fits the style of your report? Say no more, today we will be doing that. Exactly that. More so, you can even make those icons animated. So, let's see how it works. First, what you will need to do is to go to GitHub. You don't have to necessarily, however, it will help you. You will have to navigate to Microsoft repository and there Microsoft publishes report the theme schema. For every new version of uh, Power BI, they publish schema here. You will need that for Visual Studio Code to validate your theme JSON. And yes, ideally you need some knowledge of JSON, how it works because we will be editing it. So, but if you do not, it's quite straightforward. I will be using Visual Studio Code. You don't have to, you can use simple uh, text editor if you wish. It's just the advantage is that Visual Studio Code has syntax highlight, which helps, I guess. So here you will find report schema and I post link in the description. Uh, in my case, I have it here already, schema, but let me show you how to do it properly. You click on this and you click on RAV and you copy the link. So in your JSON theme, and it's better if you just export what you currently have and start editing rather than starting from scratch. But at the top, make sure to have schema and here paste that link. As you can see here, Microsoft just released August version of Power BI, so I'm a bit outdated here. They already have version 132, so, oops, 132, so I'll just change that. And that will allow Visual Studio Code to validate your JSON in case you make some mistakes. So, all good so far. So, then you have theme name, doesn't matter what you have here. And then that's where we'll be adding icons. I have sections specifically dedicated to icons. The first one is animated loading icon. So, first you specify the key for the icon. It's not your name, it's just the key, the internal one. It can be whatever it is, it doesn't. You, uh, you cannot have spaces, special characters, etc. So, you made it loading key. Then, you specify URL of sorts. In my case, of course, I don't want to pull that image every time somewhere from the internet, because in case I don't have internet or image deleted, moved, etc., it will disappear. It will not show up. So, what I do here is I actually transform image into base64, something you might be familiar with already. If you do not, watch my videos on that topic. I'll post it in the uh, description. And in this case, it's a GIF, which means it can be animated or it will be animated. Although the string itself is rather long for the GIF. So make sure to use it wisely. Don't overwhelm your report. I have few more here as an example. Trend up URL uh, image PNG in this case again B64 and the string for the image. And then you have description. This description is what will be displayed in Power BI. Uh, once you hover over the icon in Power BI. Let me show you here. Yellow horizontal light rim traffic light. Okay. 
So this is the this specified in description. And trend down again, similar thing. Green app arrow. This one is a bit different because this one is SVG. So in icons, you have you can have uh, I guess four types of images. So GIF, uh, PNG, uh, JPEG, and SVG. However, when it comes to SVGs, the support is quite limited. I tried multiple SVGs and from what I see, it only supports only the simple ones. If you have animated SVG, it will not work, probably, highly likely. If you have SVG with multiple layers, shadows, etc., probably it will not work. So reserve it for simple uh, icons. However, it's always better to use uh, SVG because it scales better than BNG. It also weights less. Okay, so this is the structure to add your column, uh, to add your icon into the theme. So, if you want to see how to make a B64 uh, version of the image, again, refer to the other video I have on this topic. It's covered there. However, I will show you how to work with uh, SVGs. What I like to do is to use SVG Viewer Dev website. And it has lots of different icons to choose from. So let's see, we have app arrow. What you can do here, you can actually change color to something else. Okay, red. Okay, good. Navigate to data URI, and here you will see multiple strings. In our case, we can use uh, encoded URI component. So copy that, navigate here, and in case of SVG, just replace it. Or add new icon if you want new icon. So save. Mm -hmm. We'll not be doing that because I already have it here. So let me switch to Power BI, load the theme and show you how it works. Okay. Let's navigate to view, themes, browse and GitHub, YouTube video projects, custom. I can set. Let's wait a bit. File successfully added. Great. If you see this, it means you formatted your theme properly. Power BI is able to parse it. Otherwise, you will get error. Now, let's navigate to conditional formatting again. Icons. And you will not see it in style because it's not actually a set. But you will see new icons in individual ones. And here, at the bottom, you see my new ones. So, loading icon, the animated one, up arrow, down arrow, etc. Whatever your heart desires. So let's try. I have few categories here. Let's try adding uh, icons for them. So audio, computers, and TV and video. So. Audio, computers, and TV, and video. And voila, you have custom KPI icons, also animated one. Could be useful if you're showing something in progress. That's all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next one.